women menstruate and go through menopause, but I would not want to be a man, especially now. I mostly blame the feminists, but also the lack of better traditional male role models. Men and boys are struggling. That's a fact, and in more ways than one. Also good dating. Men actually have a legitimate fear of merely asking a woman on a date for fear of being looked at as a creep. There's a saying about women, you can't live with them, you can't live with them. And I don't blame men for adopting this attitude. In fact, there's a social movement known as MGTOW, which stands for men going their own way. Due to the discrimination men are facing from women and society that plants this notion that women are victims of the patriarchy, MGTOW advocates men to disengage from and avoid long-term relationships, marriage, and in some cases, interactions with women altogether. The core belief is that men should prioritize their own well-being and independence over societal expectations and traditional gender roles. MGTOW individuals often advocate for self-improvement, financial independence, and pursuing personal goals without relying on or being influenced by relationships with women. They may also promote a sense of solidarity among men who have chosen to live according to these principles. Sounds logical to me. The only caveat is that while I support men's journey of empowerment and autonomy, the extreme end of this spectrum leads to hostility towards men, women, even misogyny, and oversimplifying complex gender dynamics. And men and boys aren't just struggling with dating. Many men have lost their inspiration. They don't wanna build a career. They don't have motivation to build their legacies. Their life lacks meaning and direction, yet men are told to do better, but aren't told how. So I have some tips and let me get right into it. So listen up, men. One, reclaim responsibility for your life. Face challenges head on through hard work and determination rather than avoiding or blaming others. Set meaningful, achievable goals for yourself. This requires introspection and identifying what truly matters to you then working diligently toward those goals with perseverance and discipline. Third, speak honestly, act with integrity and seek truth even when it's uncomfortable. Find the right balance between order and chaos as you need both. Order provides stability and structure. Chaos offers opportunities for growth and transformation. Develop discipline and routines which are essential tools for personal growth and success. This includes habits such as regular exercise, proper nutrition and maintaining a clean living space. Face challenges with courage and resilience because when you overcome adversity, you're building on your personal development and character. Now, this might sound odd, but pursuing meaning, not happiness. Happiness is fleeting and dependent on external factors, whereas meaning is derived from living a purposeful life aligned with your values and goals. Pursue meaningful relationships with others, including family, friends, and having a romantic partner. Healthy relationships provide support companionship, as well as opportunities for personal growth. Confidently assert yourself and stand up for your beliefs, your values, and boundaries, while also respecting the rights and boundaries of others. Maintain a hungry mindset for continuous self-improvement and lifelong learning. You can achieve this by seeking out challenges, learning from failures, and constantly striving to become a better version of yourself. Embrace traditional masculinity, which is characterized by strength, honor, and integrity. These qualities can lead to personal growth and resilience. Respect and treat women with kindness and dignity, which will help foster healthy relationships and societal harmony, assuming these women have been respectful and kind. Prioritize your roles as husbands and fathers in providing love, leadership, guidance, and support to your families. Seek mentorship from other men who can provide guidance and wisdom as you navigate life's challenges. Create your inner circle of trusted men who can provide value in your life and you can offer value in return. Not only can you learn from the experience of others, but you then have a valuable support network. Overall, men need to return to the traditional playbook of being responsible, being a leader, being a provider, having aspirations and wanting to leave a legacy, leveling up and taking action. In other words, men need to be traditional men with values and principles. If you got value of today's episode, please consider sending this video by using the share button to someone who might benefit from this message. It's word of mouth referrals like this that can really help the channel grow. And I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos of research strategies. Now, I also have another video I want you to watch. It's called Listen Up Women. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below.
Until next time, I'm the Iron Therapist Leslie Timbo reminding you to keep your mental game on.